Okay, hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna go over kind of a simple profit maximization uh, problem where you're trying to maximize profits by choosing the optimal level of an input. And I'll kind of walk through and I'll, I'll share some comments about it. So, okay, so the setup, Farmer Bob applies N pounds of fertilizer per acre. The marginal product of fertilizer is one minus N over 200 bushels of corn. If the price of corn is a dollar per bushel, and if the price of fertilizer is 20 cents per pound, then how many pounds of fertilizer per acre should Farmer Bob use in order to maximize profits? Well, I think when people get questions like this wrong, I think the difficulty is kind of not knowing where to start because you're like, ah, wait a second, I don't have a production technology and I don't have a profit function. Well, remember, with profit maximization, our first order condition is just going to be pmp1 is equal to omega1 and pmp2 is equal to omega2 for a two factor or two input problem here we have one input and so at the optimum we're just looking for pmp1 is equal to omega1 well we got the output price that was a dollar per bushel of corn we've got the input price that was 20 cents per pound and we've got the marginal product actually right the marginal product of fertilizer is one minus n over 200 so we can actually just drop this in and we don't even have to, we, we know this is going to be the, the product of our differentiation, but let's like, since this is our optimal condition and we know that that's what this is going to be and this is the information we've been given, let's just start here. So sure enough, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll drop in the prices that we've been given and the information we've been given for the marginal product. And from that point, it's actually just, it's just actually just algebra, right? I mean, you have to sort of make the realization of the calculus concept that got us to here in terms of like supporting the optimization. But in terms of like working the problem, it comes down to actually just algebra. And so just solving out here, well, that was easy. So one times this stuff is just that stuff. And then I'll just, well, let me write this out nicely. I guess maybe I made this a little bit. In the context of this question, maybe this is a little bit more than I needed to do, but I wanted to kind of show this relative to other strategies for solving more complicated ones. So the thing that I want to do here is I just want to get this in terms of a uh, common denominator. So I'm going to write this as 200 over 200 because this is minus N over 200. I'm going to write this as 40 over 200 for my 20%. And then I'll have 200 minus N equals 40 because I can multiply through by 200. All right. So what's the big thing I want to emphasize here? Well, very often I like writing up questions where it's helpful to get a common denominator in a useful way because things boil down to a simple uh, to a simple outcome. And so we don't tip. So I like you to work in fractions. We don't typically think of money in fractions, so I had to put a decimal here. So this is just me sort of like overcompensating to get back to like fractions. <laughs> anyway, so we end up with a with an optimal input or optimal use of fertilizer of 160.